So welcome to this session. I thought it would be really useful to just have an overview of what's new in the Apple Teacher Learning Center and specifically around the new Apple Teacher portfolio, which I think is going to be a great way for educators to really document the impact of what they're doing with the skills around iPad and Mac um, and really showcase what difference that can make in their classroom. So let's first of all jump in to the Apple Teacher Learning Center. Now you'll notice that there's a few new boxes on the page here and it's just broken up into just a, a few different sections. Um, most notably across the top here, we now have a section which looks specifically at your Apple teacher journey. Now this is going to be personalised depending on where you are in your stage. But what it's going to definitely show you is the skills that you've achieved in terms of tracking your progress um, and showing you, you know, where you might want to go next. So in this instance, it's start with the Apple Teacher badges to go through those six badges. Um, then the next step is to start to think about what you do with those things in terms of your lesson integration. So, you know, yes, you know how to utilize those different tools, but what is the next thing around creativity and integration of those things? And that breaks down into two sections here, as you can see, um, the Apple Teacher portfolio, which we'll talk about in a second, and also the Apple Teacher with Swift Playgrounds, which is uh, based around using Swift Playgrounds effectively in your classroom to develop those coding skills. And again, there are badges that are specific for that. Now, the new section really is around this Apple teacher portfolio. And what's great here is it's an opportunity, like we said, to think about how you take those skills and how you apply them in your classroom. It comes complete with a downloadable book, which you can download um, from the Apple teacher page. And really, it's going to take through this idea of activating these new ideas for your students, thinking about creative application of the activities that you want to, to share with the students, to then explore those new opportunities that students might have for them to deepen their understanding, and then finally to apply that. So students thinking about projects and how they might be able to master that new content and use it in different and, and new exciting uh, ways. Throughout the process, you build your Apple teacher portfolio. Like we said, there's a, a template that you can download, which we'll jump into in a second that you can utilize. Um, and then again, similar to the Apple Teacher Skills Program, there are badges that you will earn as you go through this process. Now, there are nine lessons for you to go through, three under Activate, three under Explore, and then three under Apply before you finally submit your Apple Teacher Portfolio to get your Apple Teacher Portfolio badge. So let's jump into pages and take a look at the document. So really nicely designed, as you would expect from Apple. It's got some really, really nice features in here. And it's all about the interactivity with how you add in your content. Let's start off by just highlighting you get to personalize the front page with your own name. A tiny touch, but something which actually gives you ownership of the thing that you're creating. Again, we go through each one, a bit about you, who are you, what is it that you're trying to achieve, um, you know, images, etc. Tell us all about yourself. And then it goes through the whole portfolio, jumping back and forth between this and Apple Teacher Learning Centre to think about the new opportunities that technology is affording you in the classroom with your learners. As we said, it's about these three stages, activate the learning, explore the learning and apply the learning and thinking about how you utilize technology to integrate uh, throughout those different stages. Your portfolio works in the same way as Apple Teacher, uh, sorry, as Apple uh, Pages tools allow you to just add in that content. This page just talks about how to build that portfolio um, on the page itself. I can show you here that the, the different icons that you can utilize to add in content in various different ways. And then obviously we can scroll through our pages along the left hand side. And each one of these pages gives you the opportunity to have your reflection. You'll see just in the examples here, a mix of drawings and videos and audio notes and text. It really models exactly what we're looking at in terms of uh, providing choice for students to demonstrate learning and knowledge without it being a barrier if I can't, you know, I can't draw pictures, so I 
you know, you're asking me to draw a picture and I can't draw a picture, so there's a barrier straight away, etc. So again, just those opportunities to just give those examples of things you're doing, reflect on what the impact is. And this, for me, is the critical thing. We can all too easily go through any kind of badging process and just get the badge and think, you know, we've we've achieved it. But actually, that's the start of the journey. And this, for me, is is that next step, that impact piece where we actually think about so what you know so what i I, i've learned how to do this and i've uh, used it in my classroom to what effect obviously you can then track your achievements as you go through each one of these sessions and you'll notice here it says date year it's not a race this is not about um, all of a sudden i've got this access to this new thing let's jump to the to the final thing let's complete nine lessons and go really think about how you're putting together those lessons and you know critically focus on that reflection piece so let's just take a look through one of the sections here so activate for example in activate lesson one what is the lesson you're doing who is it for what were your learning objectives for the session what were you trying to achieve and then you have just blank space to just show us what you did. What what would you want the students to achieve at the end of this lesson? Now, it talks about this being yours. You know, it's modelling, model for the students, what you would expect to see, uh, just as an example of what they might achieve. That next bit then, centred around these questions, so what? What's the impact of all of this? What would the students do? So this is not just a, you know, add in an example here and then just that's it. You have to go and actually deliver this. You have to go and think about um, this from, from a, an interactivity point of view. You know, what was the impact on learning? That just goes through all of those sections then. So you've got uh, three different lessons here with those reflection points. And if you want to reflect on any more, then there's additional templates here for you to utilise to just add into your book, which is a nice touch because obviously they're saying, you know, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, why not lesson 15? You know, why not document all of those different things that you've tried to do? This is your personal learning journal. Um, three would get you the badge, but this is all about learning. This is all about trying out those new things. As we go to explore, then you'll see the same process is there. You know, put in here the, the teacher created examples of what you would expect to see from the students in terms of their exploration. So how are they using technology to explore the content? And again, those reflections. And then finally, the application. And finally, again, you know, teacher created, what would you expect to see from the students? Not those student examples specifically. That's their work. You know, let's not, um, you know, take their work and, and utilize it here. What would we expect to see from those students? And importantly, that reflection piece. And then fin finally, once you've done all of those sections, the really, really nice thing here is for you to think about what's happened to your teaching as a result of this. So, you know, limiting this to just 60 seconds or less makes you have to think, makes you have to really consolidate your thinking. But putting together this video to say, what does this whole process taught you as an individual? It's such a lovely booklet put together to just get you to think about measuring the impact of why you do what you do and teaching people or getting people more into the practice of reflecting on what they're doing and why they're doing it. So once that's all complete, obviously you just send that back into the Apple Teacher uh, Centre through this tab at the bottom and then you will just have that opportunity uh, to submit that. Now, each stage as you go through here, submit your your um, your lesson for, for activate and then for, for explore and then for apply. You just need to submit each one. So just take those screenshots of those things. Just go through the steps on the, on the page. And then that's how you'll get your uh, Apple Teacher recognition badge for each step. So here we go. So brief description of what your lesson was and upload that um, image of what you've done. Now, again, this process in itself gets you to think even further about what you've done, why you've done it, who was it done for. Um, and it just allows you to be able to, to take everything you've done and put it into something which makes a lot more sense um, for the individuals in the classroom. So there we go. Apple Teacher Portfolio is part of the revised Apple Teacher Learning Centre. So much in there in terms of creativity. If you haven't been in for a while, definitely jump back in. Have a look at some of those other things around augmented reality, um, Apple Teachers in Action, some of the great remote learning opportunities that you can utilise um, in your own classrooms just to develop your skill set.
If you need to know any more, please do get in touch. I'm going to be running sessions on this live to support educators thinking about their application of this. I'd love to come and work with individuals um, or have you come along to some of our remote virtual sessions as part of our Apple RTC.